people are loving the show as much as we are. Yas Queen. Yas Queen. Yas Queen. And putting their own spin on these adventures. What we all know is the star of the show here. Strap-ons and period pants. Laugh at the different pieces that remind you of the different episodes. Hey. Look at me. Okay. Oh my god, thank you. And we're also going to hang out in Abby and Alana's room. What is this place? It's the most magical magic place in all of it! I'm Christy Stedman, a.k.a. Sleazy Bake Oven. I'm Carmen Acosta, a.k.a. Jane Dope. And I'm Jess Yost, a.k.a. Hussy Whipped. Oh, and this is Pork Chop. Hi. And we, and are, we are Eat, Eat More, More Art Out Productions. Productions. Woo! <laughs> okay, one more time. Blew it. Yeah. The three of us met playing roller derby. We had a yearly benefit called Eat Your Art Out. These two were always there every year. I called them and I'm like, do you guys want to do this like outside of skating? Do, do this, this for, for ourselves? Us. This illustration, it came from her heart. Well, we were inspired by Broad City. Man, it's just, it's so relatable. And I think we independently all kind of discovered it and we're like, hey, have you seen this show? Artists are relating and connecting to this and kind of creating a community. Abby herself is an artist, like on the show and in real life. You draw that with paints? I did. I like. I think of it just as like a, a painting. That's cool. You have a medium. You have a talent to express whatever's happening inside your mind when you're watching this show. And I think it was Dopes that kind of discovered the Instagram. Fan Art Friday. Fan Art Friday. Oh, so good. I'm going to gram it. No filter. Right. Started scrolling through and reached out immediately. And I said, you know, hypothetically speaking, if there was a Broad City art show, does this piece still exist? And people were like, yeah, are you having an art show? And I was like, yes, yes we are. And we hadn't even confirmed it yet. No mo FOMO. Because we need something catchy. Yeah. yeah. I was like, rolls off the tongue, let's yeah. do it. Yeah. I'm going to be like a successful artist any day now. Obviously. Shows that we've always done have been very themed and we like to deck the places out. We go in and we paint, we bring in props. So this is Alana's room. As you can see, Welcome. Sleazy made this trumpet. I spent a lot more time on this than it looks. Lincoln left his gloves one night. Uh huh. Um, this rat stole the joint. We did! And here's Abby. We've seen her so many times in the bathroom. We've got her shower curtain. We've got this blue dress, which we see over <laughs> and over. I don't know why I didn't try it on first. We've got Oprah. And some of the little the details, like Abby's, you know, Prisma colors, right here. The dildo. Shinjo. The knockoff Shinjo. It's perfect. Um, and a little bit of Chinatown with the bags, bags, bags. Streets of New York right here, you guys. Yeah. And then uh, we go underground a little bit in Valbar. I love diamonds. This is where the party, uh, you know, this is where it ends. This is where the party starts. VIP starts in a few minutes. People are lined up outside for 8 o'clock already at 6, so um, that's fun. Hopefully we get some red dots going oh, yeah. uh, first thing. This is the fun part. This is what it all leads up to. So, yeah. yes, now we get to party. That's my, my drawing up there. You're in a good spot for us. I haven't done a lot of art shows before, so I was really excited about it because I'm obsessed with the show. When you see something that inspires you, like, your immediate reaction is to like reproduce it and like draw it so that you can spread the word. It's like use your talents to appreciate their talents. I just love that scene in the show where Alana's slacking off at work and sleeping on the toilet in all those different positions. And I thought it'd be a perfect one to draw. I was just watching all of the episodes and finally I paused on this one part where Alana's shocked because she sprayed all this ink on the wonderful piece of art. Abby goes straight into the men's room, and there's a guy coming out, and he's like, This is the men's room. And I was like, I need to paint that. I basically wanted to do a piece focusing on the girls smoking weed and having fun. The, the vibe of it worked perfect for, for my style. It's always going to be about that green dildo. It's a shinjo. I just started painting with my knife instead of with a brush for some reason, and I was like, let's just go with it. I love how they reuse clothes the way real people do, and I love how the wardrobe sort of really lends to the plot. I thought that it was kind of a natural fit. I wanted to do maybe a minor character, so I chose Bevers. He's really funny, and I think he's a great uh, 
roommate's boyfriend. I'm from New York, and I just recently moved to LA. While I was moving, I was watching the show. So I was able to kind of get this like dose of home. This party is a ten. I knew it. When we heard about this, we knew we, like, we had to be here, we just had to. My sister was like, you have to watch the show. You're gonna love it. It's like shit you never see, you know, girls talking about on TV. And all my friends and I, like, we feel like the show is like about our lives too. So many situations that are like similar to situations I've been in with friends and like some that are like almost exactly like situations I've been in freakishly. I don't know if I should even say this, but the part where she's like pissing out the condom, and I called my friend, I was like, do you remember that time? They were doing something that we could relate to that we thought was really funny that we didn't see happening really anywhere else. The power of the pussy like totally connects me to the show. I watch Broad City, like I've seen it probably like two or three times, like every single episode. It constantly surprises me. I kind of wish that I had had a show like that when I was Younger. Being a woman in the entertainment industry, I really admire them, and they're just hysterical. They crack me up. I don't think you get to see women be that messy on TV a lot and not have it be sort of their downfall. It's real, and it's funny, and it just makes you feel like you're watching yourself on TV going through all of these shitty things that you go through as a young adult. This is our biggest show yet, by far. Um, we have never had a line around the block, so that's a first for us. Art is flying off the walls, prints are flying off the walls. Everyone's really happy with how it turned out. Everyone kept commenting on the details. The dildo with the necklaces was a hit. People are having a blast and dancing and drinking. I think we did Abby and Alana proud. No mo FOMO, not for me, uh, if you didn't make it, then you're, you're certainly experiencing FOMO, but hey, maybe there'll be another one. No mountain FOMO. No mountain FOMO. No mountain FOMO. No mountain. Okay. Ooh. FOMO. <laughs>